This video is going to cover how to build, build a molecule and measure and constrain dihedrals, distances, angles in the, within that structure and how to construct planes and points. So when you first open Spartan, you will notice that it won't let you draw anything. You will have to go here to this little atom button and click new. If you go to this button, it will give you a two-dimensional structure drawing tablet. Don't ever, no, just don't use it. It's not good, no. Because when you bring it to 3D, it will look nothing like what you drew. So here you can see we have our organic toolkit, which includes all of the basic building blocks for organic. If you scroll down, you can see they're all, they're all written out by names. If you go to the inorganic toolkit, you can have all the different geometries for whatever element you so choose. Peptides have the general amino acid peptide building blocks. Nucleotides have fun. If you go to groups, you have a selection of organic groups, groups to pick from that are base templates. If you go to rings, the same applies. So today we're going to start by drawing a really basic sulfonamide. So we'll, the first thing we'll start off with is our lovely cell phone. Double click and there's our cell phone. So it's sulfur with two double bonded oxygen. Now on either side, we're going to need one side needs a nitrogen, the other side needs, oops, undo, that was a trigonal planar. We want a trigonal pyramidal, so you can see this is an sp3 nitrogen, but it has a dash and a wedge bond, meaning that these aren't flat or in plane with one another. This one down here is flat. We don't want that one. Now we need a tetrahedral carbon on the other side. Now we need to add in the carbons on the other side, on all the other substituents. And I'm just doing this by clicking those little yellow markers. These are where you can form a bond. If you do not form a bond there, hydrogens will be automatically added when you exit build mode. So you saw by clicking and dragging, I could rotate the molecule. I'm on my laptop, so I have a touchpad. And if you Push both fingers down and then spread them apart. You can zoom in, spread them, or bring them together, and you can zoom out. Fun, fun, fun. Now, let's say you don't actually want it to have this a molecule in there. So, let's say you draw this, but you add this to the carbon by mistake. You can use this eraser here, which is the white and yellow rectangular prism type icon right over here, or right up here. Just click that, and then click, and that molecule will disappear. The tools next to this eraser are the make bond and break bond. So by click, if you click the make bond, you can then click two yellow port linkers to make a bond between those two atoms. The same can be done for break, breaking a bond, where you just click the bond once this tool is clicked and it will disappear. The tool next to that is an energy minimization tool, so it'll take it and say, okay, let's optimize this geometry, and oh, what do you know, look at how pretty it looks. But I actually didn't want to change it, so it's going to be control Z to send it back. Now, what you can do. Now that we have this built, you'll see up here, this guy who has the glasses on and this little water molecules on the page, that means you're in build mode. If you click this glasses, you're now in view mode. So you're viewing this structure. You're not going to add any more atoms anywhere by clicking. Now, let's say we want to measure the distance. If you go to geometry, you can see you have a measured distance, angle, and dihedral tools. A distance is, well, distance between two atoms, so you must define those. Same with 
angle is 3, and dihedral is 4. First, let's define a plane. You can see right at the bottom it says define plane. A plane must be consist of three or more atoms. So we're going to click this atom here, this atom here, and this atom here. And you can see it defined a nice little plane for us because it defaults to three atoms for a plane. What you can also do is define a point, which is right, these two notches above it right here. So if we click the same three atoms, and then click that first atom again, you will see by rotating the molecule, we get a point on this plane. This point is located at the position where the distances between the three atoms making up that point is smallest. It is not where they are equal to one another, it is where they are smallest. So now, let's say we want to measure an angle. We go to angle, we can say the angle from that oxygen to the sulfur to the plane is 33.74 because this plane extends to infinity in all directions. So it takes that plane and it extends it as far as it can until that angle is as small as it can be. But if we were to measure from this oxygen to the sulfur to this point, which is a defined point in space, is 123.56. See how they are very different numbers. You cannot use a plane as the center of an angle. So you can click, if I click the oxygen, it will not let me click the plane as that middle one. You see it automatically selects the hydrogen behind the plane. The plane must be either the first or the last. A point, on the other hand, can be. So you see how I have the point down in the middle. So it says from oxygen 1 to point 1 to sulfur 1 is 25.96. If at any point when you're doing an optimization you want to constrain these, you can use these tools right here that are in purple in this geometry menu for constraining distances, angles, and dihedrals. Course, make sure to save. It's got that lovely floppy disk icon that's generic to all programs. Um, and that is it. Um, make sure to follow your calculations correctly. That's done so through the calculations up here. You should know what calculations you intend to do with this before you start building your molecule. Anything else? This has been a video on how to build and constrain and measure and just get properties of a molecule in Spartan.